today uh, we are going to talk about hypermist system also known as the watermark model today we are going to talk about hypermist system also known as watermist system this is a fire fighting system which is employed in the engine rooms on board the ships in this basically we have a high pressure water pump which pressurizes or pumps the water to a pressure of say 100 bars and then this water under pressure is being released onto the fire area wherever the fire is through different nozzles and because of high pressure the water comes out in the form of very very fine droplets very very fine mist so as the water is being converted into very very fine droplets of water the surface area of the water increases and the more the surface area more it gets in touch or in contact with the heat with the flame and helps to extinguish the small droplets of water when they come in contact with the flame in the contact with heat they turn into steam and steam further helps to suffocate the fire so basically it has a little cooling effect of course because it's water and the steam being generated because of this steam droplets this uh, water droplets getting converted into steam helps in smothering the fire further so let us try to understand what the system is and how it works so here we have small diagram this is a high pressure pump which takes suction from a fresh water tank one of the fresh water tanks on your ship would be marked for hypermist system and there should be a notice there should be a regulation saying that this tank cannot go below a certain level which is required for fire fighting purpose on some ships we also have a small dedicated tank for this purpose any which way we have a fresh water tank through which a high pressure pump is connected we have a suction valve we have a non return discharge valve and then we have another valve here we have this drain valve and the test valve i'll come back to this later and then we have this manual valves and an auto automatic non return valves and these lines going to a affected area let's say we are talking about incinerator now now if there is a fire on the incinerator this system will activate this pump will start automatically this valves are kept open this valve is kept open these all valves are kept open at all times these automatic nrv valves they get a signal from the system now how do they get the signal if we are talking about incinerator or any other system we must have two different kind of fire detectors on top of each of these machinery when we have a fire and both type of fire detectors let's say flame and heat both detect fire in that case and that case only this system will come into operation so as i am talking about incinerator let's say we have a fire on incinerator we have two detectors on top flame and heat as flame and heat detector detect a fire it will give a signal to the control panel for this water mist system which in turn will start this high pressure pump this valve is open this valve is open this valve is open this valve is open this valve will get a signal from the system that there is a fire and this valve will automatically open and the water under high pressure say about 100 bars will go to this system and through this nozzles the mist will fall upon to the affected area and will extinguish the fire point to note is that this system starts on automatic but does not stop stopping is always manual so once you see once you make sure that the fire has been extinguished you can manually stop the system so this is how it is done automatically of course 
you can start the system manually we have a panel which i will show you when i go to the engine room or the fourth station room we have a panel where we have switches if suppose i am there i can see the fire or i am the firefighter i came into the engine room to fight the fire and i can see that the fire is a little getting out of hand instead of waiting for the manual valves for the automatic to take place i can simply press the switch for insulator which will in turn start this pump and open this valve and hyper mist or the water mist spray will come onto the system now this is basically this is basically the system the system has to be automatic at all the times we have to make sure that we have this system control panel in auto all the time otherwise of course it will not work uh, apart from this apart from this we have a few testing schedules for the system wherein we check the nozzles and we check the pump so what can we do to check that the pump is running what we can do is we can activate any of the system either manual i press on the manual switch but instead of keeping this valve open i keep this valve closed and i open this valve this is a drain valve just to see my pump is working so when i press the switch the pump will automatically start and instead of the water going to this system because this is closed it will come here and drain so that i know my pump is working same way i can try my system also keep this valve closed keep this valve open and put a bucket or a something so that it does not destroy your system does not harm your system we can try this system we can test another way to test is sometimes by putting air air to the system also we have sometimes you know uh, attachments or uh, arrangements made wherein we can supply compressed air from our air bottles and we can check one by one that air is coming uh, through these nozzles so that is it uh, let's go to engine room and have a practical demonstration of what we have just seen we are in engine room steering gear and we have this hypermist system this is our local fire fighting start panel always the system is in auto the system is always in auto and the system consists of this high pressure pump and these solenoid valves here right when when two different type of fire detectors detect a fire in that case the system will activate this pump will start automatically and we will have a pressure here about 100 bars we have a pressure about 100 bars and say around here we have a pressure about 100 bars and automatically the system will operate before we go to the automatic operation let me tell you the layout of the system this is the suction valve of the system which is connected to one of my fresh water tanks and the requirement is that the level of that fresh water tank should not go below 35 at any given time so that is the minimum we require for a fire fighting system so that is taking suction from fresh water tank from here through a filter it is going to the pump it is going to the suction of this pump once the pump is running here is the outlet and here we come here we come to the manifold of solenoid valves we have seven manifold valves because we have for main engine auxiliary engine 1 2 3 boiler incinerator and ig we have hyper mist for seven places so as soon as out of these seven places every everywhere we have two different kind of detectors so as soon as the system detects two different kind of detectors the system will automatically start the pump will start and the solenoid valve for that particular machinery will automatically open right see since the pump is already started water is already here until here so as soon as the solenoid opens let's say for this this is for igg so as soon as this solenoid opens the water will rush through this pipe and 
will go to a nozzle on top of the IgG. For all all machineries, we have different pipes going from here. There is no interconnection, no uh, common pipes. We have pipes going separately from here, this position, to that particular machinery, and it will extinguish the fire. Uh, and one more thing, in case, let's say, we have again, we are talking of IgG. If this valve fails to open, you know there is a fire. You know the pump has started, but this should have opened, and it has not opened. So in that case. We have this screwdriver here, which is always kept here. This, you can come here and you see there is a screw here. This screw. This is in horizontal position right now. If I make it vertical like this, that time this solenoid is opening manually. If it is horizontal, it is in auto. If it is vertical, it is in manual. So we can also open this wall manually if need be. Normally, it should run in auto. Okay. Once in a while, once in a while, we need to check the system is working. We need to check that our pump is working. So, we have this drain section here on the bottom, which is normal. This is normally open. This is coming from the discharge side and going to the manifold. We have another branch here, the valve which is closed. So, in case we need to try out the system, we can close this wall, we can open this wall, and we can run the system to see that a pump is running. See, there was some water in the system, and the water has come out from the drain right now. So, this is how we can test the system, the pump, and of course, we need to test our system some, sometimes as per PMS routines or something. Say, let's say every three months. In that case, we activate. The detectors over one of the machineries, and we let the system run in auto. We let it. We let the mist, water mist, come out of the system, and check that it is working fine. Apart from this, we have manual operating systems for this system also at different locations in engine room. Like at the entrance of engine control room, we have full uh, release boxes for main engine, boiler, and insulator. Same way, we have a manual release point near the IgG and near the generators. Apart from this, now we are next going to the foam room, where we have a local called a remote panel for this system. From where we can also operate the system in manual in case it does not operate in auto, or you want to operate in manual for some reason. So we can do it either from the different. Manual panels in engine room, or we can just go to foam room straight away, and there is a panel from there we can start the pumps and the system manually. Okay, uh, so these are the panels, manual release panels I was just talking about. This is the panel for incinerator, main engine, and boiler. As soon as I press this button, the pump will start manually. And that particular solenoid wall will start, will open, and we will have, let's say, mist on top of insulator, or on top of main engine, or auxiliary boiler. We have panels like this near the IgG and near the generator as well. Okay, uh, so this is the remote panel for firefighting system, water mist firefighting system. We have seen the arrangement in the engine room. Now this is a panel again in the foam room, wherein we can start manually. N normally, the system is always in auto. System is always in auto. So whenever two different fire detectors are activated, the system will work automatically. But in case the system does not work automatically, or you want to start the system manually, all you need to do is you need to put this on manual and select. Which position you want to start the system on? So whichever machinery you want to activate, you just need to press start. As soon as you press start, the pump in the engine room in the steering gear it will start automatically, and the valve for this particular machinery or this particular machinery, whatever you have pressed, will automatically open 
and the water will go the water mist will go on the top of the machinery and will extinguish the fire so this is the control panel which is used for manual one we have in the engine room wherein we have the pump we have the associated valves which work automatically and we have the nozzles on top of all these machineries from which the mist is given and the fire is extinguished okay